All right, I'm just pressing record here. We're just we're just going. We're just going because I've gotten some uh, some helpful framing uh, from the talent here. Spark the genius here with the cast and director of Death of a Whistleblower. There's a lot of people here. Uh, who's the most important person so I can ignore everybody else? Uh, uh, yeah. All right, we got yeah we got a lot of fingers there. That's all right. I did watch your uh, your Netflix hot minute a moment ago, so <laughs> so so I, so I know all about you. Uh, you're a morning person. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> is anyone else your morning person? You're all like, oh god. What? Okay, okay. all right. This is like not this girl. <laughs> cool. All right. So does everyone want to introduce themselves here? All right. Here, this is. Let's not knock. Oh. Let's point this out. Here. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Hi, my name is Tandiwe Horoche. I play the character of Tulieza. Okay. Anthony Osemi. I play the character of Mahali Labaka. Right. I'm Nokolo Jamini, and I play Luanda Masinda. All right. What do we got? Director. I'm Ian Gabriel, and I'm the director. The legendary Ian. Whoop, whoop. I'm Inez Robertson, and I play Emma Lowe. Okay. I'm Kathleen Stevens, and I play Asta Patel. All right. And, uh, you know, sometimes I like to joke around and stuff, but, you know, I was watching the trailer. It looks, uh, it looks very serious. It looks like this is not a jokey movie. So do we have to be, like, all serious and profound here? Or? Not at all. I think the characters... We're take a couple of drugs. The characters, yeah. yeah, yeah. The characters really do lighten it up. Oh really? Sure. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, just For that sure. there was a lot of swearing and violence, and I'm swearing? like, I. Swearing? What a yeah. swearing! Yeah. <laughs> it's some serious stuff, yeah. so yeah. we need a little bit of swearing every once in a while. Oh yeah, just, just sort of. How serious this is. Blow off the steam. Yeah. So is this like a? It's like obviously a thriller. It's exciting and everything, but is it also like? Is there an important message or something? Or. For sure. Yeah. Well, it's uh, we put the the story together from a lot of true facts yeah um, that have happened in South Africa we do have a whistleblower crisis and that's um, quite a large number of whistleblowers over the past 15 or 20 years have been assassinated Uh oh um, so that's pretty serious um, and we've taken that that thread of truth and some threads of truth about what happened during the time of the Truth Commission um, when we had a, a chemical warfare program that was closed down, but um, not very thoroughly, uh, yeah. and and we look at we look at a, a possible scenario that evolves out of that. Good lord! Mm -hmm. it sounds like South Africa's kind of got lots of good material for thrillers or whatever. There's lots, lots going on there. Yeah, there's a lot going on, and it's great to be able to tell the stories yeah. and tell um, true or very close to the true stories that really re resonate with people and people will understand and appreciate. That's, that's great. Uh, and what was, th what was this chemical warfare thing? Like, what, who were they chemically warfaring? Well, in the, um, in the 80s, there was a, a program called Project Coast, which was financed by the South African government, and it was a, um, a chemical warfare program that was designed, that was planned to be, uh, to deal with uh, biological and chemical warfare. Uh, was planned to um, target um, genetic differences and um, uh, differences of race uh, as part of the program. Um, and uh, fortunately, the program didn't evolve very far yeah. before it was stopped. Um, but it, it was a, a diabolical program. Yeah, it all sounds like a weird James Bond villain yeah. like thing. <laughs> like, what is going on over there? Jan, yeah. Bad times, James Bond. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. We're just trashing the hotel room. <laughs> that's crazy. Sorry, I just wanted some attention. No, that's all right. It's like, talk to me. <laughs> talk to me. So, like, are you guys all famous in South Africa? <laughs> Super famous. Super. I don't know. You've got, you're like musical theater person or something? <laughs> that's where it all began. That's where it all began. And uh, then I became the dancer. Then everyone knew me as a dancer. And now people know me as a girl who's always kicking butt. And now I'm a journalist. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So I evolve yes. every once yeah. in a while. <laughs> I just redefine myself. How do you go from like musical theater to like, you know, action thriller person kind of thing? You know what? I think musical theater also started very weird. I was just, I was just doing drama and I just loved dancing and singing. And yeah. I kind of just fell into musical theater. And yeah. I was like, oh, I think I'm good at this. I think I really like it, you know? Uh, 
but that happened for like what while i was doing theater which was like five years of my life yeah and then eventually i was just like all right cut it done with all this happy-go-lucky yeah. girl I want some serious material now wow. um, <laughs> but yeah then i eventually just decided that i want to do some film and television and um i think everything i kind of do requires a lot of uh, athleticism yeah i realize and i think that that goes back to my musical theater days. yeah i guess we've already got the dance training okay right. now you can do your own stunts exactly. and you're running around and everything yeah might as well if yeah. the skill is there the strength is there the love is there so you don't sing in the movie though you didn't you get to use that not yet but i did sing a lot on set hoping that they would <laughs> you know kind of oh, know yeah. that oh not yeah. yeah. for i'm just like in i don't know if you knew this but i am a singer yeah. too you know in case you had some musicals coming along <laughs> the movie needs a you know a soundtrack with yeah. this i could sing yeah. i'm the journalist i'm yeah. hunting the death of the whistleblower whatever i'm doing uh, <laughs> Hey, I'm a singer too. I didn't even realize. Wow. Well, we, we could do a duet. Yes. Very exciting. All right, Death of a Whistleblower 2. Yes. Uh, a musical. A musical. A musical. Why not? Yeah. Take it to Broadway. Wow, I, I, I like it. Thank you so much. not bad. Yeah. Tackling right. serious situations in a very light way. Yeah, yeah. Because people don't, you know, they, oh, I don't want to get depressed. So you like lure them in. Oh, there's going to be singing. It's like, oh my God, I learned an important message. Yo, you tricked me. <laughs> Yen, Yen, I think Yen. All right, so he's already, you can see the wheels turning like yeah. oh. All right, is anybody here a composer? We just gotta make that. Or it could be, oh, it could be like kind of rap, like Hamilton or something. Huh? Sort of like a hard. She loves rap. Is she, oh, she, she likes rap? rap? No, I don't. She wow. Rap. Right. Rap. I think she right. might, wow. I think she might wow. drop a few wow. bars right now. All right, can anybody go? No, just because you can I don't really like no. rap. What are you talking about? I'm not a morning no. person. No. No. I've got some no. doubt. No. It ain't got time to interview. Hamilton. Hamilton. Freestyling there. Right? All right, so we've already got it recorded. This will be like the opening scene of the movie. Oh, like, it's already, <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chuck, what? But yeah, Death of a, it could be a rap because it's like an important political message. You know, it's the chemical warfare. You shouldn't do that. It made me lose my hair. Uh, now I need a hat. Yeah, there we go. I know. In your hot minute, you had hair down to here. And it's right. like, what's going on? Then death of a whistleblower. Look at me now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also in your hot minute, you said you used to have a chubby butt, but now you don't. Yeah. Do you have any like secrets to like, I would like to slim down myself? Well, uh, look, everyone hates it when I say it, but I run. Oh. I run, so I'm like. Do you run in the morning too? Like I get up and I have my tea and I run. Yeah, you see, you know me. Yes. Because of the hot minute, morning. isn't it? Yeah, I know. I'm like, <laughs> everybody needs a hot minute. Oh yeah. Just, like, yeah, to yeah, get yeah, that yeah. Information and, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely that. I try to keep a, a very good fitness regime in my in my life. Oh. You know, just to prepare me. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Oh my god. It hurts me. Just, 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 take, just take this magic pill I bought. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we hope we had that? How, did you bring running shoes here to Toronto? To Tiff, you've been running around? Yeah. I ran on the treadmill this morning. Oh my god. I did. The fitness center. Yeah, it just makes me feel good. It gets yeah, yeah. me ready for the day. You need that. I Absolutely. do need it. People really say, oh, it's a waste of time, but no, I mean, if you die of a heart attack, that's a waste of time. Like, you need, to, you need, to, <laughs> yeah. you need your energy. It's, it's a waste of a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of a it's lifetime. Too, too. Exactly. <laughs> so that's, that's, no, nobody else joined you in the gym. I found and ants there. And then, there. And then we only yeah. found out there was a gym today. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like, yeah. We we they're like, where's the gym today? We'll meet yeah. in the morning. We'll meet and tomorrow. The pool. Yeah. And there's a pool. <laughs> and there's a pool. I know people in the elevator on the way up there go, oh, I didn't see there was a pool and a gym. I'm like, okay, so they're going to use yeah. it. So you're going to see. Yeah, 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 yeah there'll be a whole lot more. A lot of people would be like, oh, I'm just traveling. I'm, you know, I don't have time to exercise. But if you can squeeze that in and not just make an excuse like, well, I'm just on a, you know, it's a film festival. So you can see. Because then there's always an excuse. I don't have to do it now or whatever. This is, have you ever thought of being like a health coach, like a nutrition, motivational life coach? I actually have. Uh, yeah. When I was, uh, I think in my mid-20s, mm -hmm. I was like, I need to find something else to do, you know? And I wanted to be a personal trainer, and I was like, no, I'm lying. I don't, I don't want to yeah. be a personal trainer. <laughs> but I think what I would like to do is just be more of a... Um, kind of an advocate for living a, a healthy lifestyle yes. and making it a habit, mm. yes. you know, and just making it just a part of who you are mm. because I feel like it's so easy to not want to do it and not do it. Yes. Whereas it is harder to do it, but also I feel like it filters into the rest of my life. Like I, I feel, feel like I'm more prepared for certain things, but also I, 
I take things more seriously and I try to create better habits in yeah. my life. Uh, so yeah, I think it, it really is good for You're it. my new life coach. Because <laughs> la- <laughs> yesterday I sat in the industry center, eight o'clock it closed. I'm like, oh, I'll go to a and And I had nine burgers, like three triple burgers. I'm like, going to be keto. They're wrapped in lettuce. But I sat there until 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> but then I got home to my apartment. I still ate yeah. bowls of Cheerios. So it cut out the keto. So now I've just eaten fat and carbs. And then I woke up this morning, oh, I can't get out of bed. And then I was late for this interview. So you're my new life coach. So I'm going to, tomorrow morning, I'm going to text you 7 a.m. Here, we're doing it. We're running. I uh, <laughs> love that. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. So yeah, it's, are you guys, do you, have you worked together before or no? Or, or like, is it kind of a tight community, the South African film? Or? First yeah. time I've worked. Yes. I've, worked I've worked together Kevin with Kathleen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and I've worked together with Andrew. Yeah. yeah. So I worked with him on his very first job in South Africa. He gave him a first wow. job when I was in SA. Yeah. Oh, yeah? What did you see in him? You're like, listen, I, this guy's I trouble. I saw a very dark, intense guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah very, <laughs> very deep. Very handsome, 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 handsome man. Handsome man. Handsome man. With a black tie and he's even what? darker now. Nice. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. What was that? What was it? What was it? It was an ad. Oh, mutual. Oh, yeah, it's all mutual. With, yeah. it's what oh, was that it's an insurance. insurance oh that's what I thought okay it was a commercial for insurance yeah yeah, yeah alright yeah. so yeah. yeah. oh, don't you dare you guys, you, don't worry about dying <laughs> oh yeah yeah alright don't worry about dying or if you do die you know if you're not jogging every morning you'll die but then we'll pay you for it so don't worry about it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Good money, good money. <laughs> That's all right. So then you pick out your people. You know you're like them. It's yeah. kind of like your theater troupe. Like yeah, you're like, yeah, are yeah. we going to make movies again? Yeah. When you're writing parts or or whatever, you're picturing, okay, this person could play, that person could play. Not it. really, no. No, mm-hmm. it's just whoever. Yeah. yeah. And then you still got to fight for your roles. Yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mainly, I pictured mm-hmm. Lupita. Yeah. 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 He's like, is this this what you have for me? I guess I'll take it. <laughs> this is I'm le- like, sorry. This, this is when you order Lapita on Wish. That's sort of the yeah. You know, like, what are we? What I ordered? What we, I got? We get Netflix Hot Minute Girl. All right. Well, whatever, whatever. No, you're the new Lapita. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. We need a fresh frame. We're so over her. Yeah. All right. We got our five minute warning from our publicist. That's good. So I can start. Uh, I can head to the gym in a minute. Uh, yeah, maybe right. or maybe A and W. The what is that? Oh, the yeah, the death of a whistleblower oh, workout. Yeah. See, look, now we're out of brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have like the shirts. You that'll be your net, next yeah. Netflix reel. It's like well, you know, death whistleblower workout today. You know, we do some stretches. We do my morning jog. If I don't see you vlogging from your treadmill tomorrow, like I'm not, I'm not gonna be impressed with your social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. How do you? How do you get into be like this assassin kind of shape kind of thing? Oh, I like it. And you can tag Lapita or whatever, like, or, and be like, I don't see you in the gym this morning. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, she works out. Yeah, no, I'm sure. Uh, she, she does not play. No, isn't she? Uh, yeah, she's like the Black Panther, all of that too? Yeah. yeah, so she's not screwing around. All right. She's not sitting in A&W eating nine burgers at no, night. No. Not. All right. What, what kind of other stuff have you guys done? I feel like they're like your your B girls just in the background hyping you up kind of thing. It's like listen up. We got you, Cheryl. I'm kidding. Okay. You wanna be I go take Michelle I love Michelle. All right. You like Michelle? <laughs> That's cool. And so this is your first time in Toronto for all of you? Mm, yep. Yes. 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 You've probably been here. I've been here. Yeah. Yes. You're here every week, every year yeah. pro- promoting. <laughs> Here's my movie of the year. Yeah. Every week. <laughs> just shows up. It's Ian. Yeah. I'd say it's I've Ian. lived in Edmonton before, but that's like what? far. What? Yeah. Why would you live in Edmonton? My dad was studying there. Oh. At the university. Is it Calgary? Well, those are two That's, different cities. Yeah. yeah, so first we were in Saskatchewan, Calgary, Good and Lord. then um, Alberta. Yeah? Yeah. Well, so you're familiar with winter? <laughs> oh, yeah, kids winter from planet. Africa. Oh, and, oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Look at that. What? Oh, my gosh. Here. We have a giant whistleblower poster. Look at that. What is going on there? 
Ah. Uh, wasn't there a scene in the trailer where you're like being like shout like water dosed with water like were they washing chemicals off you what was going on yeah that's the whole trailer actually it's nothing but that that's what yeah fantastic that, looks excellent, guys. that is yeah. looking good you guys are oh so yeah oh it's perfectly fit to be a real size like vertical video <laughs> yeah Oh my God! So that'll be at the premiere. Very exciting. It's really retro too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of got that feel like a 1970s yeah. thriller, yeah, yeah, yeah. but Absolutely. modern with the text yes. there, almost science fiction. Yes. A film by Ian Gabriel, the legendary. Yeah. We've got to get him there. All right. Well, there you go. So, all right. Well, that's a, a nice way to end the interview with your new giant banner. <laughs> and uh, and I've got to go start writing the uh, the songs for Death of a Whistleblower, the yes. musical. Yes. And, uh, and then I'll hit the gym. So we've changed my life here. And thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Bye.